So summer is about T minus two months. Let's go ahead and shed that body weight, shall we? What's going on everybody? So look, PWB, so you guys already know who I am. I'm a strength and conditioning coach and personal trainer certified with ISSA, International Sports and Science Association, which means I know a little bit about what I'm talking about, okay? So with summer coming up, we're trying to lose these LBs. That's what this video is about. So before we get started, a lot of different diet plans, a lot of different freaking workouts. They want to go ahead and tell you, well, all oh, this fits one person. It doesn't, right? So this video is for people who are slightly uh, just overweight, they're not obese, right? And if you want to figure out if you're obese or under, uh, overweight, definitely email me. I'll do the numbers for you and I'll go ahead and send that to you free of charge, right? So um, hit me up. Also, guys, if you're, this is just for people who's overweight. So what we're going to do is going to be doing about four exercises. These exercises is going to be high intensity for about a couple of seconds, rest for a little bit, and then go right back into it. The workout is going to be about five minutes to six minutes. Really, not even that. Okay? I didn't really use a timer when I did these, right? But this is just a phase one. So, this means we're going to make another video which is going to caveat, kind of help on, add on to this, right? So, it'll be like phase two. All right. So, if you're obese, this is different, right? I'm going to make another video for what you guys should do to start off. You should not do a high interval training if you're an obese person, okay? But I got you. I'm going to make a video to help you. So, let's get to it about what these four exercises are. All right, so with these workouts, okay, guys, it's going to be core training. There's going to be aerobic training, which basically means you do, aerobic basically means that you're using with oxygen, with air, okay? So, there's going to be aerobic uh, interval training, and then there's going to be muscle endurance. So, those three different things is what's going to help you guys out. So, for this video, because I like to make these videos short, we're talking about the aerobic capacity, all right, the aerobic exercises, okay? So, what those four exercises are going to be, butt kickers, high knees, mountain climbers, and air squats. Those are the workouts we're going to focus in this video, all right? So with each one of these, if you're a beginner, which we're just going to assume you are a beginner for the sake of this video, you're going to be doing these exercises, right? Four sets, four sets, 30 seconds, right? Four sets, 30 seconds of work. And then you're going to do 40 seconds of rest, okay? This is very effective. You might not think, oh, that's easy. What, 30, 40 seconds? I mean, shit. That's, that, that's weak sauce, beast. It's not, right? Um, also, your body goes into this afterburn effect. So after you work out, it's going to go into the afterburn effect for tomorrow, within 24 hours. So that's why it's very, very effective. So let's get into this workout. So when it comes to the butt kickers, all right, make sure you have a slight lean. You can stand straight up if you want, but try to have a slight lean, all right? Make sure you move your arms. This is very important. Have the arms close to your side, the elbows close to your side, and then move your arms, okay? Do not have the butt, do not have your foot hit your butt. That is terrible for the ligaments that's within your knees, okay? So just go kick back naturally, all right? So when you're running, uh, doing the butt kickers, all right, just throw the butt and your foot as far as back as it goes naturally to your butt, but do not have the foot hit your butt. I know that's stupid because it says butt kickers, but for the sake of actually not damaging your legs, we're not, or your knees, we're not going to go hit the, uh, the foot to the butt, all right? So, moving on. With the high knees, high knees is very similar to the butt kicks. Make sure your elbows are tight to your side. Move those hands, all right? Understand that just because your elbow is tight to your side doesn't mean your elbows have to touch your rib cage. It's going to be slightly off. I want those things still tight. Make sure your delts are stationary. Do not have your delts way up to your ears. Make sure it's not it's tense. Relax your delts, relax your shoulders. Move your arms and then move your knees to where it's parallel, all right? For 30 seconds, okay? This is a really, really big one, all right? Especially if you're in that overweight stage. All right, so go as hard as you can and then stop, like we said before, and rest for 40 seconds. So the mountain climbers, all right, look at this demonstration. As you see that I'm on almost all fours, right, um, but one knee out, okay? The only big thing you really need to focus with is mountain climbers. If you have a mirror, try to figure that out, right? If you're new, it's going to be kind of hard to figure out if your butt is too high. Make sure your butt is not too crazy high, right? 
and then you're going to go ahead and then put the elbows, I mean, excuse me, your knees to your chest, all right, in alternating fashion, all right? So one foot goes up, another foot goes up, one foot goes up. You see the damn demonstration. Do what the hell I'm doing. You'll be fine. 30 seconds of work, 40 seconds of rest. Last but certainly not least is the air squats, okay? Booty gain, all right? That's what we call ourselves. Really, I just say booty gain, and I'm hoping it catches on where other people would just say it. But booty game, right? Let's go. So all you want to really focus on with this is make sure your uh, legs go slightly below parallel. If you can't do that, just do parallel. Do not, do not, absolutely do not go too far below parallel. You hear this phrase, ass to grass. That is by all means and in all accounts a full 360 degree circle of stupid. Do not do it. Make sure you have all your weight on your heels, and then you're gonna go straight down towards parallel or slightly below, and then you're gonna shoot back up. Watch the demonstration, the demonstration knows all, okay? And then you're going to, you can have the elbows and your hands straight out. You can have your elbows on your hips. I don't care where your hands or elbows go, just make sure that that form, keep that core tight as well, all right? Um, and then make sure your shoulders is not crazy high to you. All right, guys, I hope that these videos work, okay? So it has been doing great, and I have shown a lot of results with the clients I've been working with lately, so I know these plans work, okay? Remember, this is just the beginner stage, right? So you can look in the title. It's going to say PH1 or Phase 1 or however we're going to title it, right? This is the first phase. Be on the lookout for the second phase so it's going to better help you, okay? I like to keep these videos pretty short so you get right into your training, okay? Two long out, drawn out videos, you're going to forget a lot of shit. So, like I said before, guys, I hope this uh, definitely helps you. If you're obese, you've been identified as obese, trust me, I have a video, out, a video coming out for you guys on how you guys get started as well. If you guys need a personal trainer, hit me up. I'm your guy. I'm that dude. I'm the one who's going to help you and lead you to greatness, right? I just know what I'm, going to do, what I'm doing. My plans have worked a lot, right? The reason why it's worked is because I make it specifically for you, okay? I have a blueprint, but I alter it for you so it fits your lifestyle and how you want to, you know, deal with life, right? So definitely hit me up. All my stuff is uh, down below. Instagram, Snapchat, all that stuff. I got you, okay? Other than that, guys, you guys have a great day. Make sure you guys stay fit, stay happy, stay sane, and just don't, you know, like slap the next person across from you just because you're stressed out. If you do, make sure you record it and send it to me. Peter, peace.